Now we're going to uh, 8.2, talking about sequence dependent setup time. Uh, we need to do a few things actually. Sequence uh, uh, based on the previous color and to change to a different color, they require a certain amount of time for setup. And this setup time is different from uh, what color you you word and switch to what color. So this is the original uh, changeover table. We call it the setup time changeover, uh, uh, different color. And this is in hours, and we set it into the minutes. So to do so, let's show here we need to create a list first, and then we create a changeover table. Let's show you how to do that in a, a point second. Uh, so and also show you how to put this changeover table into workstation uh, setup time. So here what we do is first we go to definition and goes to list and we create a new list of a, a string list and we call this uh, list, of, list of color we have and here the color actually uh, we have a green color we have yellow color we have red and we have blue so these are the four color we have after we set up these uh, uh, a list of the string and then we'll go back to the data portion set up a changeover table okay and we call this changeover time changeover okay call it changeover uh, type of is the changeover matrix and time we instead of using hour we're using minutes for this changeover and what we use is using a string list uh, what is this string list? I'm using the color, uh, list color as a, so here you just come up with a short out time. Um, what we have is we use putting these numbers in here. So let me see. Uh, we got three, three, nine, and nine. So this is our setup time in terms of minutes. Okay, of course diagonal, the same color. This they don't require any setup time. And how we're going to use this? And we'll go back to our uh, workstation portion. And in the setup time portion, is if we're using a specific setup time. I'm going to be using sequence dependent setup time. And the sequence dependent setup time is using a particular matrix I just set up. Okay, so here you have using sequence dependent setup time and do a changeover. And also here uh, is going to be based on the table. Uh, symbol uh, type symbol of symbol as a part okay so based on the symbols actually and determining the changeover setup time of each entity and that's how oh, be set it up and this is a really easy setup and go over okay that's this 8.2